Hello students, welcome to the lecture on local culture, popular culture and cultural landscapes. And after this lecture, we will be able to learn the following objectives. Understand the culture of India. Explain local culture and popular culture of India. Describe the cultured landscapes of India. Define the different types of cultures in India. And explain the effect of Western culture on Indian culture. Local culture. We will begin by discussing about the local culture. The term local culture is commonly used to characterize the experience of everyday life in specific identifiable localities. It reflects ordinary people's feelings of appropriateness, comfort and correctness attributes that define personal preferences and changing tastes. India is rich in its customs and traditions which keeps Indians bound together. Indian culture is widely accepted as a perfect model for people from all communities. Most prominent among the culture of India is the importance given to familial relationship. From time immemorial, people in India live as families including father, mother and children. This is practiced in the 21st century also. Familial relationship gives a new status to the Indian diaspora round the world. One of the most important aspects of Indian culture is the respect for parents and for age. By touching the feet of elders and parents, people usually pay respect to them. We will now discuss types of local cultures in India. Grih Pravesh It is an auspicious ceremony performed on the occasion of a person's first entry into a new house. Once the house is ready, the family moves in on a particular day that is determined by the astrological charts. Vastu Puja An offering to the landlord is performed outside the house before the actual entry into the house. A copper pot is filled with water, navadhanne and one rupee coin. A coconut is then placed on the top of the pot. Coconut is covered with the red cloth and tied with the red thread called moli. After this, the priest performs the puja and the husband and wife take this copper pot in the house together and place it near the ceremonial fire. Indian marriage. Indian marriages are viewed as almost necessary in the Indian society. Arranging a marriage is the responsibility of Indian parents and other relatives of both bride and groom. Indian marriage alliances entail some redistribution of wealth as well as building and restructuring social realignments and of course result in the biological reproduction of families. In India, there is no greater event in a family than a wedding. In arranging and conducting of marriages, the complex permutations of Indian social system best display themselves. Touching the feet of elders Indians from early age paid respect for their elders, especially to parents. Children are taught to practice touching the feet of people who are older than them. Furthermore, India is a secular country. Hinduism, Buddhism, Sikhism and Jainism are the common religions in India. India is one of the nations in the world with diverse religions and where the religions still play a very important and prominent role in the affairs of the Indians. Christianity and Judaism are also some of the religions in India but they are not commonly practiced and as influential as Hinduism, Buddhism, Sikhism and Jainism. There are several languages in India but the generally accepted one is Hindi. Another important part of Indian culture is the various regional dance forms. The Indian dance is the expression of the divinity in man and the inner beauty and emotion. The Indian dances are classified into eight different class and they are the Satriya of the Assam, the Manipuri of the Manipur, the Vakshangana of the Karnataka, the Kuchipuri of the Andhra Pradesh, etc. Popular culture. 
Coming on to popular culture. Popular culture is the accumulated store of cultural products such as music, art, literature, fashion, dance, film, television and radio that are consumed primarily by non-elite groups such as the working, lower and middle class. One argument is that popular culture is used by the elites to control those below them because it dulls people's minds making them passive and easy to control. A second argument is just the opposite that popular culture is a vehicle for rebellion against the culture of dominant groups. Creators of popular culture must remain within known boundaries, use common methods and common materials, staying away from innovation. The creation or its method of creation must not cause its audience to question accepted reality and must remain on accepted paths of thinking. The audience for popular culture must be large and the likelihood of the creator being known to the audience should be minimal. If it is not folk culture, then popular culture must not be communal or anticipated. The cultural heritage of India is a vibrant mosaic of lively and magnificent colours. Indian culture encompasses a unique blend of food, fashion, festivals, dance and music that spellbound the four corners of the world in its euphoric nature. The diversified but united culture of India has flourished for many centuries and is India's way of life. India is a popular destination and boasts a cultural heritage that is worth exploring. As a tourist, you have many choices to explore from cuisine to dance to music. All diverse in nature encompass to form the culture of India. Moving on to types of popular culture in India. First we talk about Indian dances. Indian dances are popular all over the world for their unique style and lucid expression portrayed by the artist. Indian dances have the potential to recreate the magic of past era as well as represent the present with their futuristic style. Some of the leading dance classical dance forms are Bharatnatyam. The term Bharatnatyam today identifies a particular style of dance. Historically, Bharatnatyam is a system of dance described in the Natya Shastra capable of manifesting various forms. Kathakali Originated in 17th century, Kathak is a typical dance drama that comes from Kerala and has its roots in Indian mythology. The artist performs well-written incidents from the Hindu epics or scriptures by suing facial expression and specific hand gestures with an elaborate costume. Kathakali dancers use makeup that takes several hours to apply. Kathak Originating from North India, Kathak is derived from the word story. The dance was initiated by the devotional recitation of the storytellers or Kathakars who were attached to the temples. It was essentially performed in the temples in the praise of the Lord. Mohiniyattam Dance of Mohini is quite popular in Indian mythology. Mohini, according to legends, was a very beautiful woman who attracted people instantly and was an enchantress. Thus, Mohini Attam is the dance of the enchantress. Cultural Landscapes We will now discuss about cultural landscapes. The term cultural landscape embraces a diversity of manifestations of the interaction between humankind and its natural environment. Cultural landscapes often reflect specific techniques of sustainable land use, considering the characteristics and limits of the natural environment they are established in and a specific spiritual relation to nature. Protection of cultural landscapes can contribute to modern techniques of sustainable land use and can maintain or enhance natural values in the landscape. Significant landscapes have both sacred and secular origins throughout South Asia. 
Some, like the sacred landscape featuring temples lining the Ganges, are iconic and recognizable outside the region. Many more, such as the sacred landscape of Braj, a major pilgrimage site in the state of Uttar Pradesh, or the secular landscapes of Indian cities, villages and homes. Landscapes can be categorized into two main categories. The most easily identifiable is the clearly defined landscape designed and created intentionally by man. This embraces garden and parkland landscapes constructed for aesthetic reasons which are often associated with religious or other monumental buildings and ensembles. Organically evolved landscape the second category is the organically evolved landscape. This results from an initial social, economic, administrative and or religious imperative and has developed its present form by association with and in response to its natural environment. Such landscapes reflect that process of evolution in their form and component features. They can be divided into three subcategories. A relict landscape is one in which an evolutionary process came to an end at some time in the past, either abruptly or over a period. Its significant distinguished features are, however, still visible in material form. Continuing landscape is one which retains an active social role in contemporary society closely associated with the traditional way of life and in which the evolutionary process is still in progress. At the same time, it exhibits significant material evidence of its evolution over time. Associative cultural landscape. The final category is the associative cultural landscape. The inclusion of such landscapes on the World Heritage List is justifiable by virtue of the powerful religious, artistic, or cultural associations of the natural element rather than material cultural evidence which may be insignificant or even absent. We will now discuss the example of Hampai. The natural landscape at Hampai is on one hand universally recognized for its beauty and on the other hand enriched with symbolism from mythological references. The array of huge granite boulders rounded and seemingly detached from one another are haphazardly arranged to give unending hues of pink, ochre and grey in a landscape that is the result of some 3000 million years of erosion which began underground but once uplifted has resulted in this unique landform. The largely granite based landscape has offered itself as an unending source of building material for centuries. The landscape is a unique showcase for the cyclic life of a settlement, magnificent structures being fashioned from the local granite rocks that became ruins assimilating once again into the very same landscape from which they were fashioned. While Hampai represents the capital of the Vijayanagara, literally meaning city of victory empire, its significance as a landscape with sacred associations extends into a prehistoric past. Hampi also exhibits a typical case of conflict between exceptional cultural value versus development pressures of expanding urban and rural settlements in its vicinity. Let's move on to the next topic now. Types of cultures in India Unity in diversity it is not just another phrase or quotation, but these words are highly prudent to a country like India that is incredibly rich in culture and heritage. Few quotations or statements cannot describe the pedestal that India holds in the world map because of its colourful and unique culture. With about 800 different languages and 18 officially recognised languages, several world religions including Hinduism, Islam, Christianity, Jainism, Buddhism, Sikhism, Zoroastrianism and Judaism, various styles of art, architecture, literature, music and dance 
and several lifestyles from the urban and rural to the tribal, India is a melting pot of cultural diversity. Indian art has its classical and folk traditions which are still vibrantly alive and covers the gamut of genres from paintings to sculpture to handicrafts. Indian visual art has also been influenced by developments elsewhere in the world and contemporary Indian art is steadily developing its own language in trying to interpret the Indian ethos in as many media as possible. There are various types of Indian culture. Some of these are humanity. The mildness of the Indians has continued till date despite the aggressiveness of the Muslim conquerors and the reforming zeal of the British, the Portuguese and the Dutch. The Indians are noted for their humanness and calm nature without any harshness in their principles and ideals. Tolerance Gandhiji's Satyagraha principle or Ahimsa, freedom without taking a drop of blood worked wonders and gave credit to India in the international arena. Swami Vivekananda in his famous Chicago speech on the 11th of September 1893 spoke of this. Unity India is a conglomeration of men and women of various castes and creed. It is a fusion of old traditional values and the modern principles, thus satisfying all the three generations in the present India. The elite businessmen and the common vendor on the road share the same news and worship the same deity. Secularism India is a secular count country as stated in its constitution. There is freedom of worship throughout the length and breadth of India without any breaches or violations of any other's religious beliefs. The Hindus, the Muslims, the Christians and the Sikhs in times of calamity and during festivities come openly together to share their thoughts despite their religious affinities. Closely knit social system The Indian social system is mostly based on the joint family system but for some of the recently cropped nuclear families. The families are closely knit with grandfathers, fathers, sons and grandsons sharing the same spirit, tradition and property. India, a place of infinite variety, is fascinating with its ancient and complex culture, dazzling contrasts and breathtaking physical beauty. Among the most remarkable features of India is the arts and culture in particular. The Indian culture has persisted through the ages precisely for the reasons of antiquity, unity, continuity and the universality of its nature. Thus. Within the ambience of Indian culture, one can identify Indian music, Indian dance, Indian cinema, Indian literature, Indian cuisine, Indian fairs and festivals and so on. Nowadays, the Indian culture has crossed the geographic boundaries and has extended globally. Whoever may it be an Indian or a person from any other country, attracted from the exuberant Indian culture and tradition. Cultural Diversity in India Culture is the combination of people's languages, their food, religion, family values, dressing, behaviours and it is common thing in different peoples in certain area. If you know the Indian history, then it is clear that Indians always have the unique and very rich cultural values from the world. History of India has played very important role in the development of India culture of today. Indian culture has different aspects and each can be identified individually. Indian culture is a huge population in India and so much diversity. Still, one thing that is common in these millions of people is their culture and love for their culture. India is the best place in the world to see the different cultures from modern to ancient and find the similarities in these diversified cultures. India is a land of diversity in race, region, caste, language, mate, landform, flora, fauna and so on. The fundamental diversity in India is gleaned from the following. 
geographical diversity. India is a vast country with great diversity of physical features. Certain parts in India are so fertile that they are counted amongst the most fertile regions of the world, while others are so unproductive and barren that hardly anything can be grown there. Racial Diversity India possesses a rich variety of races. The vast population of India consists of the jungle tribe, hence Bheels, Koles, Santhals, the Greeks, the Sakas, the Kushanas, the Hunas, the Mongolians, the Arabs, the Turks, the Afghans, etc. The physical features and color of the Indian people also differ from region to region. While the people of Kashmir are handsome and fair in complexion, these qualities are missing among the inhabitants of Assam. Linguistic Diversity India not only possesses racial diversity but also linguistic diversity. It is said that almost 400 languages are spoken in India. Some of the prominent language recognized by the constitution includes Assamese, Bengali, Gujarati, Hindi, Kannar, Kashmiri and Malayalam. Marathi or Punjabi, Sanskrit, Sindhi, Teral, Telugu and Urdu. Political Diversity The diversity in culture, races, language, religion etc. greatly stood in the way of political unity in India. As a result from the earliest times, India has been divided into several independent principalities. The rulers of these principalities were always engaged in wars with each other for supremacy. This disunity and friction was fully exploited by the foreign invaders to bring India under their subjugation. We Indians lay emphasis on spirituality, not on material wealth. Religion has the most important place in India. We believe in karma and sanskar. Performance of duty is our religion. Religion tolerance is the unique feature of religions in India. Hence, there is no difficulty in coexistence of followers of different religions. Hinduism, which forms majority of the population, has the capacity to absorb all good cultures. It has either absorbed the immigrant cultures or has largely influenced them. We have a very broad outlook. We preach and follow religion and spiritualism without ignoring married life and worldly things. We firmly believe in freedom of thought and freedom of expression because such freedom enriches the culture which then becomes dynamic. Effects of Western Culture in India Civilizations do meet and even merge but never has such an impact been witnessed as the impact of the West on India. A bird's eye view of the Indian scenario would depict a miniature or a distorted West in India. Impact of cultures is felt elsewhere also and this is bound to be when two people or two societies or two countries meet but neither leaves its own system wholesale as in India. This is a unique feature in India only where the culture of the West has penetrated so deep and far and wide that the original Indian culture has got lost somewhere. To find Western impact on India, we do not have to go far to seek. Each and every home, each and every sphere of life has been completely influenced by the West that it is difficult to recognize what is Indian in India. Our food and food habits, our dresses, our dances, our songs, our music, our lifestyle are the entire Western pattern. Western culture has both negative as well as positive effects on Indian culture. Positive effects Emphasis on development Attention to improved infrastructure Improved educational systems Sincere efforts to reduce the margin between the poor and the rich Sincere efforts to improve lifestyles of the marginalized Disadvantaged sectors of society Efficiency management Sincere efforts to reduce the plague of India's corruption. Negative effect on Indian culture. Decline in moral values. Unhealthy openness to immoral sexuality. 
commercialization of everything, materialism, the American dream and other lies, acceptance of values that do not translate cross-culturally, clothes, premarital sex. Summary Now in the end, let us summarize what we have learnt in this lecture. Diversity is understanding that each individual is unique and recognizing our individual differences. Most prominent among the culture of India is the importance given to familial relationship, respect for parents and for age etc. Popular culture is the accumulated store of cultural products such as music, art, literature, fashion, dance, film, television and radio that are consumed primarily by non-elite groups such as the working, lower and middle class. The term cultural landscape embraces a diversity of manifestations of the interaction between humankind and its natural environment. Indian culture is known for its rich values which are produced in the past thousands of years. Culture is the essential and integral part of any society. Mounting Western culture is degrading India on the whole. Within the seven decades of national independence, influences of Indian culture have started to drain almost.